Before going into details, let us first understand tension. You must have seen guitar strings, how they are tightly tied to both the ends. In the strings there is a tension force along the length. This tension force brings it back to normal position when strings are pulled. Also to pull the string, we need to apply some force to counter the effect of tension force. Similar to this tension, on liquid surface there is a tension which is called surface tension. When you dip something in water, initially surface tension force needs to be overcome. This tension force is very small and thus we do not see its effect in most of the cases. You must have seen mosquitoes sitting on water. They are able to do so because they cannot overcome this tension force and do not drown inside. Let's understand surface tension in better way. We all know that water molecules have attraction force between them and that is why they all stay together and move. Now let's take a glass of water and try to analyze two water molecules, one at the middle, and other one at the surface. The middle particle surrounded by water molecules and is attracted from all the directions. Thus there is some distance between two particles. But the surface molecule is not attracted from top side as there is no water on top. Thus they experience a downward force. Because of this force, they move close to the inner particles and number of particles increase in top layer. Due to more particles, force between them is more and thus there is a stronger tension force. When we dip something, we overcome this attraction force. Let's see few things where surface tension is applicable. In a water drop, because of tension force. All the surface molecule rearranged to form a spherical shape. Surface tension is also responsible for carrying water upward in plants. Water strider insect slides on the water surface easily due to the surface tension of water.